then you, you know black hole and yeah. lasso right uh now yeah. even the bat rider without lasso can actually contribute to potentially let's say breaking the coil so speaking of easy takeoffs looks like michael has found himself on a little bit of an awkward high ground has the divine favor on him to help him with the regen but as we know level one it's a bit of a pathetic spell they will get the return on to kiri though even though he's the one getting the first blood gold and looks like adrian might be in some trouble as well so let's show hammer in two i'm gonna try for the rundown but against the daggers it might be a bit too much Actually, that's the only kill he's gonna get all game incoming. Yo, relax. Hey, how you going? <laughs> Whoa, did you see that Q play? They left Prada up here. Kiri setting up with a branch, catching Totaro by surprise. The divine favor doesn't seem to be enough to get him regen up, or is it? Turns around for a parting dagger before going down. Excellent execution. I think we've been very impressed with Adrian's performances overall, the whole series, and the whole season actually. But this Stormbreaker doesn't really seem like it's the right sauce. Now, they'll square up onto Stinger, and just like Game 1, they'll be able to get him. But is there any real-world consequence? No, not the Solar Guardian cancel! And you gotta imagine Adrian saw that coming too, because, you know, alone was showing on the creep wave, but probably not really processing. And that's a double kill for alone. That is straight in onto Stinger. Looks like Sharpshooter being wound up. Should be enough to take down the Chen. But meanwhile, Robo Z just gets found while disconnecting. That is cruel. But that's the reality of life. In comes Michael. But nice little flame break from Prada. Just to hold them at bay. And Michael will actually burn up. Potaro is here. But a beautiful RP. Holding Adrian and the Bat Rider in place. Solar Guardian should be able to go off this time. But Kotaro, such flashy plays. Just blink striking away. Has a higher level in that than inside the uh, dagger, actually. Which is a pretty interesting build that pays off for the PA big time. Nice little bushwhack. They don't have the ultimate though, but they should be able to slide through. No, healing so much on the chat. Oh my god. Lord. Last little bit of damage. Hammer finds it, but the blast off through double bombs down, and you can't even get an attack off. Shido comes to the twin gate though. The side of Plasma, they're not down just yet. Sharpshooter comes through, breaks up on the PA. No more evasion for you, but another blink strike out. Oh, it's not enough. Phylactery the early phylactery. Shido, okay. Shido's done it again. This is the second game where we've seen him get this uh, phylactery before boots. It's hard because of your oh, plasma. No. You still want to be playing whoa, like, whoa. around. Oh no, Shido. Easy setup. No vision spotting it. Only wards in the lanes and that's going to catch them off guard. Alone. Alone did get bricked up a bit by this flame break um, that Prada was just tossing out to prevent the aggression. Oh, Shido's just gonna collapse upon down here. They have full vision of him, and he is gonna go down, strength morph or not. The waveform just doesn't cover enough of a distance. To try and turn things around here, Solar Garden coming through as well. Maybe he'll survive. Maybe he'll be fine. TPing in on the park. He is disconnected, but someone can play him. And his name is Kiri. Coming through with the orb and the coil. Controlling up on the tiny for now. Even 4v5. Plasma, they're finding opportunities here. If they can get this tiny kill, it's gonna be huge. In comes the Bat Rider, but they might not even need him. Nice avalanche to buy them time, but Kiri's there. Might just be a great escape alone. He's out of range. But unfortunately, it looks like the techies will be the new target instead. Michael has to sacrifice his life. Dave is tiny, but the price they're willing to pay. Robo Z, though, the disconnected puck will get the slice down by Kotaro. You lasso him up to the high ground on PA, but it doesn't matter. He has the blink strike back down and alone was able to finish off the initial target on Shido. Now, Kotaro, it's a 3v2 situation. Oh. Magnus back in the fray with a huge RP oh, no. on the two. Finds them, pulls them back into Kotaro's grasp. But can you really challenge up against Adrian? He has 20 stick charges and ready to throw out the hammer, working down onto Stinger. Just needs the wind up. One more second, it's only a level 1 star breaker, but it should suffice. Throw it out onto Sacred, but this man, he's surviving for so, so long. And it's that Chen Black Aura doing mad work in this fight. The Celestial Hammer will finally burn out the Magnus though. But Kotaro, he's been allowed to stay safe in this fight. Lifesteal might not be present on the Phantom Strike, but when the Chen's just staying in range perpetually, you have more than enough to work through. Here comes the Morphling back in the fray, and Kotaro, his time might have finally ended. Adrian, too tanky with the blades of his own and able to survive. And would you look at that? Robo Z is back. Plasma, I think they stand oh, a real shit. chance here. Adrian's skill build. Right, this was a very uh -oh. greedy Dawnbreaker build. Oh no, Shido, the Mage Slayer on top of him as well, but he does get the shift off, so he's fine. Oh, they can just get alone now. Who true to his name, where are his allies? Very ambitious little play here, thinking he'd catch Shido off guard and 
even if you were, that wasn't the execution that was going to make it happen. You come out and start with a tree toss auto attack first. Michael's going to die as well. Invader. Farm on Dawnbreaker as well. Right, you throw the hammer at a creep wave, it is dead. You can just go and farm the camps at that point. Oh, pump faking the oh. RP, but sacred. But it might regret that one. Yeah, because of that, they'll toss him in. Still RP up on Nice. Them. I mean, it seems like they've just deserted Adrian completely, which, to be completely honest with you, I don't know whether that was the right call. They'll finally come through. So without their Dawnbreaker, arguably their strongest hero, do they still have the Kahonas to take this fight? Kiwi's just gonna get auto down by Sacred. You lasso up, but your Batrider dies in mid out. And it's still a huge two-man avalanche. They found Cheeto, and even though you've mobbed up into the Magnus, you can't skill your way out of this business. You're just gonna get punched down. Very confusing series of events for Plasma, as they... Every cooldown is available other than the lasso. Straight through the tree lines. Oh, Kotaro blinks out just in the nick of time. And now Prana's in trouble. Instantly melted down by the tiny hand of God as well. Just to keep them healthy. And Shido's starting to go to work. Solar Garden coming through. This looks like a much better fight for them. as a buyback from Prada. But Shido, he's in the mix. Might, has he gone a bit too deep here? They are able to blow up Sacred. But Shido, he's starting to lose HP. And he gets crushed by Kotaro. Full on crit. A third triple kill for the PA. As it's set up perfectly. You don't need an RP for that if you're all just gonna walk straight into our hands and Deso charges through the roof. BKB not even needed. Invaders, they're gonna trample through the mid lane. Firefly on the sidelines. Spots out alone, but they'll just continue to kite around. Additional HP on all their heroes thanks to that golem. Control up. Start out with the lasso, but oh, it sets up for the perfect RP! Sacred brings you in and you just get melted! Kotaro, this is the dream PA game! GG is called and invaders! A couple of hurdles, a couple of fumbles, but it's not gonna matter. Pause or not, you gotta admit, they look like clearly the better team in this game. And Plasma, this will be the end of their EPL Season 9.